today's project is how to make a pinch bowl out of polymer clay. Now as you can see this all comes in like a square rectangular form but that's so that you can uh, tear it apart at the indentations and just tear off one piece. Take the rest, put it to the side. Once you have it in this one piece, squish it and let's try and roll it into a ball. Now, if you don't have nice soft clay, it's a problem. And if you give yourself too big of a piece, that's a problem too. So the main thing you want to do is get it into a ball. And with polymer clay, if it's been sitting a while, like this has, you really kind of have to warm it up with your hands. So I'm going to keep squishing, keep squishing, keep squishing until I end up with a pretty nice warm piece of polymer clay in a ball. See these creases? You want to get rid of those. So I'll work on that and come back. Okay, I have a pretty nice ball. I take my thumb and I put it right in the middle. Squishes it out and you don't want to go through it so much that you end up with a donut. I take my hands and as I turn it, my thumb is making the inside get bigger. Now, this is a little stiff still, but I'm going to keep pinching, keep pinching. Part of the problem that happens is that people get tired of pinching and end up with a bottom that's real chubby. So I'm going to turn it on the outside, pinch it down and up. So it's going around and around. See how it's getting bigger? Pinch it going the opposite direction, around and around, because you want to get those walls of the bowl center. Now if you're little, you want a littler piece of clay. If you're big and can handle it, you can have a bigger piece of clay. But if the clay is old and tired, it's not going to do what you want it to do anyways. Now look how much bigger that has gotten since I've been pinching. And I can still pinch a little bit more. Now, you might want to put it on a flat surface, press your thumb down a little bit so it doesn't wibble wobble, but then pick it up again, turn it, and keep pinching, working your way from the inside all the way up. Okay? That's a pretty good size opening of my bowl. Okay? Now I don't want to keep, you could leave it like this, but I want to make mine a little bit special. So I'm going to take it, put it on the ground, put it on the ground, put it on the um, space that I made, and I'm going to pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. Now I have a little star bowl. If I want to get even fancier, I come back in and I pinch the inside. Turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. Now I have a star bowl. Now, see these little indentations? That is from my fingernails. So I should have cut my fingernails before doing this project. Although it does add an element of design to the inside and the out. So there's your basic shape. Come in and repinch. Make sure you got it the way you want it. And then we'll talk 
decorate. So there's a star bowl, little pinch bowl star bowl. Okay? All right. Okay, to decorate, all I'm going to use is my dowel. This is a little wooden dowel. You can use a toothpick. And I'm just going to make some indentations. This is called incising around the top of my pinch bowl just to give it a little bit of texture. Then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm just going to draw some straight lines just to give it some texture. Keep going all the way around. You want an overall pattern. And then I can come back in and add some more dots. All the way around. And the clay is very forgiving, so if it kind of squishes out of shape, finish doing your dots or whatever. Turn it over and reshape. That's kind of cute. All right. Let's see what this will look like when it's all done. I'm now going to put it in an oven, regular kitchen oven for about what? Fifth? No, 13 minutes at about 200 degrees. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, here's my cookie sheet with a little teeny piece of parchment paper on it. Here is my polymer clay pinch bowl. And now I'm going to put this on top of that and put it in the oven for, let's say, e, let's say 11, 13 minutes. Okay, let's see what happens. Here's my oven with my pinch bowl ready to be baked. Okay, here's my cooled pinch bowl out of polymer clay. And I am going to be using some uh, uh, paints that you normally use for fabric. Because I read online that that's what you should use on um, polymer clay. You can experiment and see what works best for you. The first part I'm going to do is the inside of my bowl. Now the good thing about these paints is that you only need to do one coat. So I'm going to hold my bowl, take my paints, load up my brush, and I'm painting the inside of my bowl. I'm doing a thin coat because I have found that polymer clay doesn't really absorb the paint like a normal clay body would. So it's best just to put a hint of color, which in this case is this um, fabric paint. Now I did one brush full and it looks like I'm going to be able to do the entire inside of my bowl, completing all the little crooks and crannies all the way in and out. Yep, looks like I can do it all with one bowl, I mean one brush. Okay, a hint of color. All right, now what I'm going to do, let's see if this is how this stuff works. I've painted the inside. I've covered the parts that I want to cover. I've done one brush load. It's a little bowl. That's a nice color. I'm going to leave it now, set my timer, and see if it dries in a reasonable amount of time. I'm going to start out with 15 minutes. We'll see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, 15 minutes, kind of dried it a little bit. Now I'm going to flip it over and I put it on a paper plate with a little piece of paper underneath. And now I'm going to paint the outside on my bowl. And what I'm going to do is just start on the outside, hold it upside down, bring it down and across. And now because I don't want to touch it, I pull up my bowl on my paper plate and that's what I go all the way around. Okay, I've got the outside, I've got the inside done. I take this piece of paper, put it to the side, still a little bit wet, put a new piece of paper down, hello, and now I'm going to do the edge of my bowl. So, oops, that doesn't look so good. Then I guess we will use the green. Okay. Take your brush, load it up, hold your hand, and now let's just do the edge of my star bowl. Now you can see the designs I made on the rim or the lip. We call this the lip of the bowl. All the way around, up, over. Not too much paint because you don't want it to drip. But you can really see that star now. And now it's done. Rinse your brush, dry it on some paper towel, cap your paint, and leave your bowl alone overnight to dry. We'll check it tomorrow morning. Here's my little pinch bowl, all painted, dry, and ready to give as a present. Very cute. Little star bowl. Okay, bye bye.